हॅलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर शर्मिला गंगाळे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नॉलॉजी चांगू काना ठाकूर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स अँड सायन्स कॉलेज पनवेल डिअर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू सी द टॉपिक कार्निटीन ॲज अ न्यूट्रासुटिकल इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज अँड फंक्शन ॲज आय जस्ट स्पोक अबाउट द न्यूट्रासुटिकल लेट अस फर्स्ट हॅव अ ग्लान्स ऑन द न्यूट्रासुटिकल वॉट आर न्यूट्रासुटिकल्स अँड वॉट इज देअर रोल ॲज अ फंक्शनल फूड Dear friends a nutraceutical is defined as any food substances that provides medical or health benefits including the prevention and treatment of the diseases the term nutraceutical combines the two words of nutrient which is the nourishing from components and pharmaceutical which is a medical drug as the picture able to reveal that nutraceuticals refers to the food derived products that are uh, have or offer the additional health advantages beyond the fundamental nutritional content of the food so nutraceutical basically act as a functional foods and they are giving the nutritional supplements to the body so these nutraceutical and how this carnitine act as a nutraceutical that we are going to see in this session friends chemically carnitine is a quaternary ammonium compound which is synthesized from amino acids lysine and methionine chemical name of carnitine is 3 hydroxy 4 trimethyl amino butyric acid of beta hydroxy gamma n trimethyl amino butyrate so both the names we can able to use and the picture which reveals the chemical structure of the carnitine as well so basically what carnitine is if we can say that carnitine is an important nutrient which is present in the diet the main source or the main dietary supplement particularly it is a meat the red meat so it particularly present in red meat and dairy products which is synthesized from the amino acids so carnitine plays a crucial role in the energy production by transporting fatty acids in the mitochondria so if we can able to see that carnitine is a important nutrients the question come that whether it is necessary to take it from the diet let us see so a part of the carnitine transports the long chain fatty acid into the mitochondria they are basically burned there or oxidized to produce the energy another part of transports another part of carnitine that transports the waste and toxic compounds out of the mitochondria and this prevents the unwanted substances from the building up so skeletal and cardiac muscles that use the fatty acids as a dietary fuel have high concentration of the carnitine so carnitine basically as per as the sources are concerned sources of carnitine includes red meat dairy and whole wheat bread so mitochondria exist in every cells inside the every cell of the body and they produce the energy which the cell needs so the body creates the carnitine from the amino acids of the lysine and methionine so scientists first isolated that uh, carnitine from the meat as a result it takes the name from the latin word for the meat so there are some evidences to support the use of carnitine to the medicine basically it is popular supplement for the uh, for acting as a athlete or but uh, it may be you can say that a more research is needed to confirm that where it is effective its effectiveness and improving performance as per as the types of carnitine is concerned friends there are four different types or forms of a carnitine the first one is l carnitine acetyl l carnitine propionyl carnitine and d carnitine if you can see the picture able to reveals its chemical structure about the carnitine comprises the different three dimensional bonds so as far as the requirement is concerned friends the liver and the kidney usually produces enough carnitine as i already spoke to you whether it is required to take the carnitine from the outside food that is the question so the liver and the kidney usually produce a enough carnitine in the human body so topping up with the food or supplement is not necessary so there is a no recommendation of daily intake however genetical or medical reason genetic and medical reason can cause some people to produce a uh, too little and that's the reason it creates 
इट्स रिक्वायरमेंट टू बी अ न्यूट्रिशनल सप्लीमेंट और एज अ न्यूट्रासिटिकल नीड प्राइमरी सिस्टमेटिक कार्नेटीन डिफिशियंसी कैन हैपन वेन द प्रोटीन दैट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ब्रिंगिंग कार्नेटीन इन टू द सेल्स अंडर गोज द जेनेटिक चेंजेस सो दीज बेसिकली हैव सम साइंटिफिक कॉजेस विच मेड द कार्नेटीन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द बॉडी so when it becomes a important requirement of the body let us see what are the food sources which can able to fulfill this requirement so friends these are the foods that provide the carnitine which are mainly animal products dairy poultry and meat red meat has a high concentration of the carnitine out of that beef of steak cooked one cup of milk chicken breast or cooked cheese cheddar then non animal sources are also having options to provide the carnitine in the diet and that non animal sources are nothing but whole wheat bread and asparagus so these are basically the important sources which supplies the carnitine in abundant amount out of which the red meat has a more concentration or highest concentration of carnitine which can able to fulfill the requirements so as far as the dietary supplement is concerned we should be a very cautious about how much the adult requires per day about the carnitine is concerned so adult whose diet are rich in red meat consumes on an average about or around 60 to 80 mg trusted sources of carnitine per day a vegan diet provides normally between 10 to 12 mg per day so that creates the actual requirement or dietary supplements for the human being or for the body now if we cannot fulfill this requirement in a daily diet what will be the cause the cause definitely makes the deficiencies so this deficiency how this occur as everybody knows that deficiency is causes whenever the anything has not been given in a proper amount or required amount to the body and that leads to the fatal problem so these fatal problems are lead to be the deficiencies so whenever we are going to see the deficiencies or causes of deficiencies problems these are processing food and the rare conditions can lead to the low plasma uh, plasma carnitine progressive cardiomyopathies or heart muscle diseases so skeletal myopathy hypoglycemia hypoammonemia weak muscles in the hips shoulders upper arms legs neck and jaw muscles these are some of the deficiency causes which can be lead or which can be seen in the human beings if we are going to be follow the diet properly it will not going to arises the any problem in the future but if it is untreated it may be fatal to the human being so as per as the deficiency is concerned the symptoms gradually worsen from infancy to early childhood that is the reason why we need to understand its requirement and we need to treat it accordingly to treat it the physician will prescribes the pharmacological doses or carnitines so correct the problems of carnit Uh, cardio myopathies and muscle weakness we have to think about the dietary sources so it is happen to be as a result of other metabolic diseases and this is called as secondary carnitine deficiency so first carnitine deficiency as well as the secondary carnitine deficiency may be causes if the proper dose of carnitine has not been consumed in the proper diet as i already told you that carnitine is basically the combination of amino acid lysine and methionine we have to see about the proper protein diets which we need to take in case of the daily dietary requirement so before proceeding further i would like to give you some of the properties that which are important to say for the carnitine so carnitine if you can able to see that these are the important properties of the carnitine carnitine is said to have a many therapeutic properties that may be useful to treating a range conditions and illness so as an antioxidant carnitine fights off the harmful radicals which cause severe damage to the cell health conditions that carnitine may be used to treat includes heart failure heart attack angina and diabetic neuropathy one review study has stated that acyl l carnitine had a moderate effect on reducing pain so dear friends we are going to see the more properties and functions of carnitine in the next session thank you